Joining me here on our 104.5theteam.com podcast is you Albany women's basketball coach, Katie Abrahamson Henderson. We're going to go with Coach Abe for short. Coach, thanks for being with us. Thank you. So opening night of the season tomorrow, you guys open up at home at Seth Hugh Arena, 7 p.m., St. Francis of Brooklyn, the women's NIT. You've been coaching. Now this is your fifth year at the helm of you Albany. What's opening night going to feel like? Do you still get jitters on opening night? Well, I do, personally. I don't know how they feel. I feel like they're ready to go, but I always do. I don't know why. It's just kind of nerve-wracking because you're zero zero. You don't have a record yet, and, you know, you just don't know what to expect ever. So uh, I know I always get nervous, but I think the team's ready to go. Now, your great Danes have won three consecutive America East championships. They're picked to repeat again for the fourth I know what you're going to say. It's going to be coach speak that last year doesn't really matter with this year. But but your team now is very, very experienced. How can that experience from, from last year, the past three years, help this year's team? Well, it, it does. It absolutely does. It's, they don't know the difference. They, the expectations for themselves is to win, you know. And um, I always go with Sarah Royals. She was my first recruit, and she's got three championships. So she doesn't know any better. It's kind of funny. I always say that. Sarah doesn't know any better, so you better do what she says because she doesn't know any better. Um, and uh, Margarita Rosario is the same way. I mean, they've they've been trained in one system and one system only now, and, and really all of them have. And, and so they just stick like little machines. They just go out there and do what they're supposed to do and, and have a little luck and have a little success, and winning comes. Now, you mentioned Sarah Royal. She'll obviously continue to be a mainstay in your lineup. Another player that, that people who might not be familiar with your program don't know what they should know is Sharisha Richards. She's probably the best player in the America East. What about her game makes her so special? Uh, she's relentless. She's, um, you know, the, one of the hardest workers on our team. I always say if, you, if, your hardest, if your best player is not your hardest worker, you're in trouble, and she is our hardest worker, and you know, I think she's one of the best players in the East Coast, to be honest. I mean, she's really phenomenal. She's super athletic. She's amazingly just tough as nails, and she hates to lose. She's a lot like Sarah. I mean, Sarah's the same way. is just her athleticism is just overpowers everybody. So she's so fun to watch. She's fun for me to watch. We had a couple scrimmages here, and she made some moves, and she got a few steals, and I was like, wow, that was fast. So, you know, she's just super explosive. But, I mean, the, the, the word for her is relentless. She just goes and goes and goes and never stops. So, Coach, I'm sure you've been spending time watching film on Save Francis of Brooklyn. What have you seen from them to take into tomorrow's contest? They shoot the three like crazy, and um, – you know, he, he's done a great job with them. I think this is going on his third year, and uh, he took a team that um, wasn't winning, and now they're winning. They were 19 and uh, 15 last year, but they play extremely hard. They shoot the three. They live and die by it, really, and they're, um, you know, upperclassmen driven team, so um, we, we got we to be ready to go. They, they play really, really hard. That's what I, I'm really impressed by. Now, we talked to Zach Bai, who's one of your broadcasters, does a lot of broadcasts with the men, with the football team. We talked to him a lot. And one thing I've asked him is uh, kind of this is a golden age for you, Albany Athletics. Now, you've been here five years. I've been living here for 15 years. And this is, you know, between uh, what Coach Catuso is doing, between what you've done, between Coach Brown, Coach Marr in the lacrosse program. Softball was in the NCAA tournament last year. You, Albany, now with a new athletic director, this is, this is, this is time for you, Albany. It is, and field hockey just won America East, and now they're playing Wake Forest in the championship. So, like, you know, when um, the new AD came in, uh, one of the common themes was, you know, he's got some superstar coaches, so he doesn't have to recruit like we would have to recruit in terms of coming into a new job. He's just got to, you know, implement his system. So, you know, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the men's and women's basketball, I always say, you know, hopefully now the community will know there's another basketball team out there besides just Siena because there's two of them here at Albany, you know, and uh, it's exciting. Um, it's exciting for us as coaches and student-athletes to go to other teams and go watch them play. I mean, we were just at the field hockey game the other day, and it was so exciting to watch them win another championship. I think it's their seventh. So we got some phenomenal coaches and phenomenal student-athletes. I mean, they're, they're great character kids, and 
you know, they're fun to support. So anybody should come out and watch these teams because they're a lot of fun to watch. How has your success uh, impacted your ability to recruit? We often hear, obviously, winning is going to make recruiting easier, but you hear the, the, the mid-major label and all that kind of stuff. Are you guys able to go out and get the premier talent that you want? It seems like you've been able to do that. Uh, you know, it, it's helped, but it's not as easy as anybody would, would think. Recruiting is never easy because you just don't know what the mind of a 17-year-old uh, young woman is thinking. Um, you know, and uh, I think the fact that uh, all the teams are winning and the um, university and the athletic department is a family atmosphere, we, we get certain types of kids. We're going to get good academic kids. We're going to get kids that want to be a part of a great system. And, you know, the parents want their children to go to great people and uh, for us to take care of them and grow them as women. And those are the kind of young athletes we're going to get. And, and um, you know, I, I recruit a little internationally also, so it's been a lot of fun being able to go to Canada and, you know, get some kids from different con- countries. Coach Abe, you Albany women's basketball with us opener tomorrow, St. Francis of Brooklyn, the women's NIT over at Sefki Arena, 7 p.m. Definitely do your best to head over there. Coach, want to get you out of here on this. We briefly touched on new athletic director Mark Benson. What have you seen from him now? He's been here for about three months now. Have you seen anything, or what? what is he doing for your program specifically? Well, I was fortunate to be on the search committee, so I got to know him pretty well. Uh, and uh, he's... Um, you know, he's, he's hit the ground running. He's, you know, the biggest thing that he's trying to do is, is get out there and, and be a face for the community and get, and get out there and get our name out there. And um, so I think that for our program, you know, Friday night's going to be our banner dropping ceremony, too, from last year. So that's a lot of fun, you know, and he's really pumped up about it. And so I think for not just my program but all the program, I think the external stuff is going to be good once he starts getting out there and, and more people getting to know him, and he starts selling his program. So he's been great. He's good energy. Um, he's, he's got great ideas. So now he's just got to implement them. Well, definitely, as you mentioned, there are certainly you walk around this uh, this capital region. There are definitely more U Albany fans across several sports, so U Albany doing a good job continuing to put itself on the map, and your program is uh, certainly one of the reasons why. Coach, good luck tomorrow and continued success this season. We'll be talking to you again, I'm sure. Thank you so much.